Hello everybody, welcome to this channel. Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial video for the beginners on Filmora. So for that you can see that I'm using Filmora X. You can use any version of Filmora, the tutorials for the beginners will be same. So this is the interface if you click Filmora. There are two options, new project and open project. So if you want to create any new project, you have to click the new project okay now first of all if you want to select the dimension of your clips like 16 is to 9 for the youtube ratio or 9 is to 16 for the facebook ratio for that you can see a button file click on it and you can see the button project settings click on the project settings now you can select any aspect ratio like 16 is to 9 for widescreen, 1 is to 1 for Instagram, 9 is to 16 for portrait and so other. So I am selecting 16 is to 9 for YouTube ratio and you can also select the frame rate as well. So click OK. Now first of all you have to import your video. For that you can see an option here that is import. Now, if you want to import any files, single files, you have to click import files or if you want to just import a whole media folder, you can select a media folder. So right now I'm going to import a single files for that. I'm clicking import media files. Now I will be searching for my desired video. So now let's choose any video just for the demonstration you can now click open now you can see that i have imported five of the videos now if you want to use this video for editing you have to drag this video like click on this video and drag it to the timeline in this way you can easily drag any video for the editing purpose now if you want to add another clip just click on another clip and drag it to here and now there are many options here i'm going to show you some quick review of every options in the filmora like let's start from here this button is for undo button and this button is for redo button and this is the delete button like i want to delete these clips so click on this clip and just click delete option the video the clips will be deleted again now you can see this is the video if you want to cut or spill the video I'm clicking the clips you have to select the clips every time now just click on this button your video will be spilled it so i'm undoing this now if you want to crop the video you can see here is an option crop select this and from here you can crop the video like this or you can select any dimension here you, you can see there are many dimensions here okay let me crop the video in this aspect okay now after that you can see that an option that is speed if you select the speed you can customize your speed according to your wish or you can just use the templated 0.5x 0.25x or you can also fasten the video after that there is an option that is advanced color tools if you click on this there will be two options color correction or color match so if you want to edit the color of the video you can use the color correction under this category there will be many options like white balance you can select the color temperature color tint or any other things like brightness exposure contrast vibrant saturation and so many options as i'm going to make a series of contents on film or editing i'll be discussing describably in other video please stick with me on this aspect uh you can also use the big net effect from here like this you can select the size of the vignette or the roundness as well as the feather exposure highlight anything like that click ok to save it after that you can see another option that is green screen so if you use any green screen you have to work on this button then there is an option that is motion tracking and if you want to track anything like i'm adding a text from here so i want to track this text so now click on the video 
and click on the motion tracking click yes and from this you can just track any subject according to your video object so i will be discussing on another video elaborately about this so in the next option you can see keyframing like keyframing is an amazing option by keyframing you can just move any object you want like let me show you how it works go to media for searching your video that you have imported i'm selecting another video on this overlay now if you click on this button here you can also make it small like this and you can also use the keyframing right here if you just click on the keyframing there will be a frame here so this is on of the position of your video like i'm using this now you can add another position so in this position i'm going to make this video right here and in the last position i'm going to make this video right here now see how it looks you can see that how easily the object is moving that's all about keyframing i will obviously make it elaborate video on keyframing here so now you can see an option that is edit if you click on the edit option you can see there are many options and categories like video audio color animation and under the video section there are many options like transform by using transform you can rotate your video like this or you can scale up your video like this you can also flip the video and the second option is very amazing that is composting in composting you can use the blending mode if you want to blend any video over this video you can just drag any video on the second timeline select the video go to the video section and under the composting if you select anything like that like multiply color born or linear born you can see that how the video has been blended again i'm going to the edit option and you can see that motion tracking that i have already discussed then stabilization from this option you can stabilize your video or chroma key it's used for the green screen lens correction uh, you can correct your lens like you can select any profile like GoPro Hero 7 and 6, anything from here. Then there are drop shadow. If you want to create any shadow of your video, you can do that in this section. There is another option that is auto enhance. If you select auto enhance, your video will be enhanced automatically and you can also customize the amount from here now you can also see there are many options here now i'm going to describe about this option so under audio section you will be able to see many templated audio here like young bright tender and sentiment there are many types of templated audio or sound effects music you can use it for free then at the title option there are text so under this option there will be many type of templated text like lower thirds for your lower third text or titles these are all templated just drag it here and you can double click here you can customize your text from here so in this option you can work for the text so at the second option there is transition and this is really an amazing option you can use any transition there are vast option for transition so i'm going to the media and adding any video so if i want to add transition between this video i'm going to transition and selecting the wrap i'm selecting any transition from here now let's see how it looks you can see this is looking amazing in this way you can use the transition button and the next option is effects and this is really an another amazing feature of the filmora there are several effects you can see if you click the included there will be several effects some of them should be downloaded from the internet so uh, let's see how it works like i'm selecting cyberpunk one and 
dragging it to the second timeline you can see the effect is added on the video in this way you can use any of the effect here like this this and there are several of effects so for effects you can use this option now elements under elements there will be several type of elements and this differs from the version to version and you can see there are many options like love journey shapes like on the loves there will be some elements about the loves let me try one of these see the elements are really good or if you want to make any tutorial click tutorial and there will be many tutorial elements like this let me try another one you can see this is amazing now another great feature here that is spilled screen so if i click on the spilled screen there are many types of option here let me select a basic one just dragging to the timeline so for making split screen you have to click here now there are two segments you can see first one is these and second one is these so if you drag this video to the first layer it will be added again if you drag this another video to the second layer it will be added easily now let's see how it looks you can see that two video has been added as a split screen so in this way you can use this option after doing all your editing works if you want to export the video just click on the export you can edit the name you can select the location from here you can select the resolution good better or based you can see you can also select the type mp3 gi or even anything so that's all now just click the export your video will be exported to the distinct location so that's all for today's video i think this is the shortest ever quick tutorial video on filmora where every topics every effects features has been described very precisely so if you want to know about any feature of the filmora specifically i can help you because i'll be uploading the filmora editing video in this channel so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you think this tutorial video is useful and see you on the next one where i'm going to share you every options elaborately how to make amazing effects transition text anything so stay fine bye for now